Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, December 26th. Uh, day after Christmas. <laughs> I didn't vlog yesterday because uh, in the morning we were busy. <laughs> Jesse got up and opened his presents from Santa. And then we went over to my in-laws and did Christmas there. And then when we came back, I started feeling rough, so I ended up falling asleep on the couch for a while. I don't even know how long. And then when I woke up from there, I ended up coming in here. And snoozing while watching TV pretty much all day. Uh, I'm still not feeling good. I woke up this morning at 3 having I'm not sure if they're cramps or Braxton Hicks but pretty consistently <laughs> and uh, it's like 9 something in the morning and I'm still feeling them. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my um, midwife and they basically just want me to drown myself with water <laughs> And, um, time them. And so I guess that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, uh, I still plan on vlogging the rest of the year if, um, I don't end up in the hospital. <laughs> so hopefully I don't do that. I didn't open my scrap ball yesterday because, like I said, I fell asleep. <laughs> and, uh, we had a good Christmas, though. I hope all of you guys did, too. It was 70 degrees here, so it wasn't the best Christmas. But, um, oh well. It's It's Tennessee. It seems like every other year we have cold Christmas. Because last year it snowed a little bit and it was like 20 degrees. And this year it was 70 and sunny. But um, we had a good time. Devin went and got me Chinese food last night. So I sat here and ate it in bed. And I'll eat some more later because I have leftovers. But yeah, I guess I'm going to chug water today. And just chill <laughs> until I start feeling better. I don't know if they're... I can't tell if they're Braxton Hicks or if they're just cramps. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> but I've been up with them pretty much all night. Sleeping kind of in between. It's annoying. <laughs> but, oh well. I am going to hop off here. I did do a little bit of crocheting. Um, Christmas Eve. I made amigurumi for a national holiday that's coming up. Uh, I guess that's tomorrow. I can't remember what day it is, but it's coming up and I, I wanted to make it amigurumi. It's cute, but it kind of doesn't look what, like what it's supposed to look like. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here and just feel my body <laughs> and let it do its thing, I guess. And chug a lot of water. I took a shower. Because I was hoping it would make it stop. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> so, um... I'm going to go get my water and chug it and then get some more water. Chug it. Because <laughs> uh, although I want my baby, I don't want her to come early. So she needs to stay in there. But, yeah. I hope I might catch up with you guys throughout the day if I start feeling better. If not, this might be all you get. <laughs> I will at least open that last scrap ball at some point. <laughs> and uh, I might crochet. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, it is 3.20, I'm still not feeling well, <laughs> we just went and picked up our grocery order, uh, and I gotta put it up, <laughs> but Devin and Jesse just left to go to my in-laws, he cooked a prime rib, a smoked, a smoked one, <laughs> and I think uh, baked potatoes, so uh, Devin went to go hang out over there for a little while, took Jesse with him, and they're gonna get food and stuff. Anyways, I don't feel like going. I'm going to put these groceries up and then I'm going to set my butt back on the couch. Possibly in the bed. I have drunk a ton of water today. But I'm still having a lot of Braxton Hicks and their heart. <laughs> but they don't last long enough to be like real contractions. So, I don't know what's going on. But it's annoying. And I wish it would stop because it's been a long day. I've been up. I woke up at 3 and was up until nearly 5. And then Jesse woke up, uh, I guess because we were making noises. Devin woke up shortly after I did. Because he's on a weird schedule anyways. So I went and got him back in bed. I guess he thought it was time to be awake, but it wasn't. <laughs> and then I ended up going back to sleep for a couple hours. It was like um, 7 something when I woke up again. <laughs> and uh, got myself out of bed and came in here. But I'm just not feeling good. I don't know if I'm getting close to labor or what but like my whole body it's not shaking but i feel like on the inside it's shaking and i've been drinking water and water and water 
and the only part that's swollen on me is my fingers my feet have not been swollen and neither has my face that I noticed it does look swollen <laughs> um I'm having a pain right here which is oh you can't see it <laughs> but I don't know if it's liver pain you know I don't know I had preeclampsia with Jesse so I'm obviously paranoid about having that again but I keep telling you know the midwives and all that that and they don't seem to be phased by it so I don't know what else I wait and see if I get to feeling worse I'm gonna go to labor and delivery because I just called them earlier and talked to them I can't remember if I said that um uh the Braxton Hicks have slowed down a lot since between 3 and 11 <laughs> but I was still getting them and they still hurt and my body is just so sore from having them and I'm just tired so I'm gonna put these groceries up I'm just gonna put up the cold stuff I'm gonna leave everything else sitting on the counter and Devin can put it up and uh, I, I ordered a lot of convenience foods because I know I'm not going to be cooking this week if I can keep feeling like this. So I ordered a lot of stuff that Devin can make easy for him and Jesse. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put these groceries up and then I want to crochet. So I think I'm going to work on some ladybugs because I want to make a ladybug for good luck charm for me. I like to make one every year uh, just to leave in my living room and to remind me, you know, to be positive. And also my neighbor upstairs she left us some hot chocolates and chocolate spoons <laughs> outside and i meant to get her and her son a christmas thing and i could you know i spaced i've just been so out of it lately so i want to make them two little ladybugs and i got a little poem that i want to print out and it's just about good luck charms you know and leave it up there for them for new year's so i want to sit and do that but Right now, I need to put these, the cold stuff away. There's just a few cold things, and the rest of it can be Devin's problem. <laughs> he won't mind. He's been so good. He's, he's done dishes, and he's done two loads of laundry while I was sleeping yesterday. And um, he's good. He's cleaned the living room and taking care of Jesse and all that. He's got to go back to work Tuesday and Wednesday, and then he'll be off again for four or five days. And then Jesse is off until the 4th. But he's supposed to be going to my mom's tomorrow because it'll be the last time that he gets to spend a lot of time there in a row until like spring break <laughs> so um he's gonna go hang out with my mom and pot his paw for a few days probably two or three days and i don't know if i'm gonna end up having a baby in between those days or not because i'm feeling just so different and strange like i don't feel sick it's not like sickness i keep telling Devin my stomach hurts but it's not like upset stomach it's like sore like the muscles are hurting and I just, like I said, I feel shaky and I've been chugging water like crazy and I've been eating and I've been taking my blood pressure. I'll do it right now. <laughs> um, I haven't been swelling, but I am sore under my ribs, but you know, it could also be from being kicked. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning that is because sometimes with preeclampsia, your liver will swell up and it makes you sore under the right side of your ribs. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep eye of it. I'm keeping a log on my phone, everything that I'm feeling. I have been having headaches, but not splitting headaches. And I've been nauseous, but I've been nauseous on and off the whole time. So I don't know. See, my blood pressure is normal, according to this thing. It's 123 over 88, so I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just into pregnancy stuff or what, but I guess we'll find out in a few days. Because I know if labor's gonna start, it's gonna start, you know. But yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff up and I'm gonna go crochet, I think, a little bit. And watch something i need to catch up on youtube videos i haven't watched any since the 23rd because <laughs> we've been busy um on christmas eve and christmas day and then today i've just been most of christmas day i was asleep <laughs> and then um today i've been lazy all day i've been pretty much sitting on the couch watching uh the boys play games <laughs> i took a shower earlier because i was hoping that would stop the braxton hicks but it didn't <laughs> i actually had three of them while i was in the shower but um oh well i don't know <laughs> we'll see I guess <laughs> okay I've made it back to the couch <laughs> I want to open my last ball I didn't get a chance to yesterday because we were busy immediately in the morning you know Jesse was excited and then we went to my in-laws and then when we came home I ended up falling asleep on the couch because I didn't feel well so Christmas was not that great <laughs> um getting stuff done wise we normally do the most of our Christmas stuff on Christmas Eve anyways uh usually Christmas morning is just for um Santa. Oh, I thought my ankle was swollen, but I think it's just a weird angle. <laughs> but this is the last scrap ball. I'm going to try to open it with one hand. I'm tired just putting that stuff up. Ooh. I think it's that peach color again. I think it's the same one. 
This is a really pretty color. I don't think I've ever had this yarn before. Oops. It's a really pretty peach color. I'll probably save these ones instead of putting them in my scrap balls. I'll probably use these for like Snappy Tots characters because she always uses bright colors and I think this would be a cute bright uh, skin color to go along with that. And then the last gift, which I already know what it is because you can tell by that noise. <laughs> these are chocolate covered cherries and she mentioned in her vlogmas that those are her favorite, her and her husband's. And um, I eat these sometimes, but I'm, I'm going to give these to my mom probably because she loves them. I can already tell us what they are. If I can get it open. With one hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can always tell these are just by that sound. I usually buy my mom some of these every year, and I didn't this year because I just haven't, you know, I haven't been in my right mind lately. This pregnancy has taken over. But these are so cute. <laughs> so I'll give, be giving these to my mom because I already got a lot of chocolate. I have a secret hoard in the pantry that I get out of. <laughs> Jesse knows about it, and he tries to get me to give him stuff out of all time, and I'm like, you got your candy in there. He's still eating on Halloween candy. This is Mama's secret stash that everybody knows about. <laughs> but so here's all my yarn balls from Beverly. I absolutely love this one. I would love to have, like, tons of this yarn. And I love this one. And there was another one that I really liked. Probably, where is it? It should be all of them. Yeah, right here. Like, I've never seen any of these yarns. They're, they might be Michael's brands because I never go to Michael's. Um, one, because there's none near me. And two, because every time I've been to Michael's, their yarn selection has always been so, like, little that I'd just rather go to Joann's because Joann's always has, like, four or five aisles of yarn. And they have good coupons. But most of these will be going into my stash over there, that tote of scrap balls which i wanted to start a scrap blanket soon i was talking to my friend phyllis earlier today actually about it because i want like a mindless project to work on while i'm waiting to give birth <laughs> and um so I'll, I'll probably start a scrap blanket and uh then do like little projects in between like i am planning on making those ladybugs and um probably just amigurumis here and there maybe some hats and things you know i still need to sew the buttons on june's sweaters i need to do that but um maybe i'll do that i'm supposed to be sewing bags because i wanted to have another bag update uh this week before the end of the year they're all cut and ready to go it's just um i've been so tired <laughs> and having so many of them those stu stupid fake contractions that i just I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'm hoping to, if I feel better in the next few days, I can get some of them done. At least put some of the um, hook cases in the shop. Because I got 20 of those cut. Um, I have 20 hook cases cut. 7 regular notion pouches. And I think 10 quilted totes cut. Got the batting, everything all ready to go. I just have to sit down and sew. I have to feel like it. And, uh. So far, I haven't felt like it, and I don't know if I will. <laughs> so if I don't, they'll they'd just be sitting in there, and they'll be ready to go whenever I do feel like it, which is fine. But I'm excited about my new yarn balls. A lot of different colors in there. I really love this peach color. Ooh, see, I'm having one right now. It hurts. Braxton Hicks aren't supposed to hurt as well, I've been told, but <sighs> these ones hurt. <laughs> Ooh. And um, <clears throat> I have three of these now. Open oh, three of them from her. They're all over there together. My cat, my house is a mess. <laughs> um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. But I'm thinking about the scrap blanket I'm going to make. I think I'm going to hold two yarns together and make it like a ripple stitch. Because I think that'd be interesting to see them like, you know, waving and two yarns together. Because one, it would use up more scrap balls. And two, um, make it thicker. But I don't know, I might just do one. Cause by the time I get done with it, it'll be warmer. Because scrap projects usually take forever. And this particular one isn't going to be done until probably after I have a baby. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I sit down to do it. <laughs> but right now I want to get my... I'm going to pull my scrap bin over here and dig out black and red. And I'm going to whip up some little ladybugs. Uh, my, I have safety eyes right over there so I can grab them. I'm going to sit here and watch some TV until the boys get back home. And then I'll probably eat a baked potato if they bring it home. I don't really think I'm going to eat any of the meat. I feel like that might make me sick. <laughs> but um, I'll eat the heck out of a baked potato. <laughs> and on my grocery order, I accidentally got a little tiny bag of chips for Jesse. Um, we call them curly chips, but they're uh, 
Fritos that are curly. They're like curly looking. They're like a barbecue flavor. And I always mess that up when I do one of my orders. I don't look at the sizes. So I got him a little tiny bag of those. And then I accidentally got a giant bag of cheese. <laughs> I meant to get a uh, two pound bag of mozzarella cheese. And I got one of those huge ones. And I was like, okay. <laughs> we got plenty of cheese now. I'm going to have to make stuff with a lot of cheese. Because I got it to make some pizzas with. We got some pizza dough mixes that I want to use up. And uh, I got pizza sauce. We already have a ton of pepperonis. And we had some cheese, so I wanted to get just a little bit more cheese, you know. And then I accidentally got a huge bag of it. But I don't remember it being that expensive, though. So I might have, maybe they picked the wrong bag. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to quit blabbing because I want to watch some of this show before they get back. Because I can't watch some of these shows in front of Jesse because they're about murders, you know. And I don't want to scar him. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to watch some of my, uh, what is it called? It's called, uh, and I forgot. See no, see no Evil, yeah. It's on Discovery Plus. It's a show about where they solve crimes using cameras, you know, like from stores and stuff. It's pretty good. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm going to maybe look uh, look into working on some ladybugs. And also that yarn I have over here, whoop, right here, there's four balls of it. It is Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, Bright Stripes, I think. Uh, I have that to make a cardigan with, and I've been... It's been looking at me the last few days. You know, I've been sitting here doing nothing. So I might maybe start a cardigan. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to try to relax and drink more water. I've drunk. Oh, God. Since this morning. Because they told me to chug water. They said to make me feel like my eyes are floating. <laughs> um, I don't have to math in my head. I have drunk over 100 ounces of water. I've got another water right there and I'm drink. And I'm going to try to squeeze in more. I haven't been peeing a lot, though. You would think me drinking this much water would be peeing a lot. And that's another sign of preeclampsia. So I don't know if I'm getting preeclampsia or not. I might be like pre pre eclipsic <laughs> I have an appointment on the 4th. But depending on how I feel, I'll probably just go by labor and delivery. Because I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I don't want to risk anything that will make me sick or make the baby sick. Uh, so if I keep feeling bad I'm just gonna go have them check me out she's moving a lot she's moving right now but uh I just don't want to wait you know and uh regret it so and our deductible has been met this year so it won't be a huge bill <laughs> it'll be a bill but it won't be like a ginormous one that's like my medicine it got full filled today and it's normally 56 dollars a month and it popped up and said it was 11 dollars, and I was like yeah <laughs> go figure it. it does that at the end of the year but uh Oh, well, <laughs> the labor will cover it for next year, too. So I'll tell Devin and Jesse if they need anything done medical wise, we're doing it next year because once the uh, oh, see, I'm having another one. <laughs> once the um, deductible gets met, it will um, be cheaper for them to do procedures. That's why I'm thinking about doing my tonsils next year after I recover from having a baby. <laughs> But, yes, okay, I got to quit blabbing because I need to relax because I keep having those stupid contractions and they hurt. <laughs> and, uh, see, so they don't last long, so I, I know they're not real because if they were real, they'd be getting worse. But they still hurt, and I still want them to stop. And the water is not helping. <laughs> and I took a shower. It did not help. And I've been, I laid down forever. It did not help. And it's just like, ugh. <laughs> but, yes, anyways. If you have any tips for that, let me know. I know a lot of y'all are more mommy than me. You know, have more kids and have had kids longer and stuff. So, it would be great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm leaving now because I want to watch the show before they get back. <laughs> Bye, guys. Look, the tag says that it's from the North Pole. And it says you're on the nice list. The loofah on. It sticks to the wall. Shake it. 
What does it sound like? What do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to open it. It's a multi test set. Oh, I know it now. Hey! We can see my main type of vial here. Yeah. Wow, I've never even seen that one before, have you? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a brand new Lego set. Thanks very much, Santa.